Welcome on in, everyone. We are back, the cousins. This is Beer Talk with Kyle and Joe. I'm Kyle. What is going on, my friends? My name is Joe. And today we have another review for you. So today we're going to be talking about the rebrand. And the company's name is Bandbox Fella. Now, this is a company that uh, did this reband probably about a month or so ago. Um, they've been really active on YouTube, really active with their reviews, social media, all that stuff. So we're really excited to talk with you about it. We have three different scents, two of uh, like the regular scents or regular mixes, if you will, and then one from their CBD line. Right. Yeah. So you guys may know um, the owner, his name is Mike, and he previously uh, had a company by the name of Chronic, and he recently made that switch to Bandbox Fella, and we cannot wait to talk to you guys all about that. But before we begin, let's do a little housekeeping here. If you have not done so, please make sure you pause this video right now and make sure that you have actually subscribed to our channel. Uh, we recently hit 1,000 subscribers that we're so happy about, and we want to keep that number growing. And if you really enjoy our content, please make sure you share with somebody that you may think would benefit from these videos as well. But before we begin, check out our intro, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive right into the price and presentation of these products. So let's we'll start with price. So for a, um, I'll say a non-CBD oil, they are $15 for a one ounce. A four ounce butter is $18. Um, CBD oil is 25. And then a CBD butter is 30. Now, if you get a combo pack in the CBD, it's a dollar cheaper. So that saves you a little bit of money. Um, and then also uh, towards the end of the video, we're going to show off a conditioner is $14. So as you can see, in my opinion, this is well under the market average. I think if you grab five random companies, these prices are really fair. We also have a discount code that we'll share with you at the end. That's going to save you an additional 15%. I just think you can't go wrong. What do you think? The prices are absolutely outstanding across the board. Um, on all, sure. I think even the CBD uh, products, which always tend to be a little bit higher, um, I think those are probably on the the normal average on mm -hmm. what uh, maybe maybe even a tad below. Um, I right. thought the prices on those were uh, really fair as well. So awesome yeah. job on the price. So let's dive into the presentation, which we're obviously when it comes to a rebrand uh, is a very exciting feature when it comes to that. So um, this is the Motown oil and this is what the oil bottles look like here. Now, if you remember uh, when Mike had his previous company, a lot of his bottles had that green tint to it with that silver cap. So the bottles itself didn't seem to change that much, but I really love the actual, the labels themselves. Yeah. The labels have a lot of color features to them. They pop a whole lot more. Um, and there's just a, they just put a nice, you know, a little bit of sophistication on there and just, and just, you know, it just pops off the shelf a little bit more there. I'm not getting the best uh, zooming in today, but yeah, and then these are the, just yeah. like before, like Joe was saying, the um, dropper tops, which are really great. Hold, uh, hold them upside down. Restrictor pretty much nothing comes on out. One. Restrictor tops. Thank you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Restrictor tops. Hold it upside down, basically nothing. And just with the lightest tap of the finger, you get a perfect amount, which I always love. Right. And this is the butter jar. Um, as you can see, that is a sharp looking jar. You got the, like the Mason style looking. So you got the silver lid that goes with it. I always appreciate that. Um, and this is actually like a tough uh, plastic. Um, there. Yeah, it almost so feels like if, if you If you drop it, um, which I tend to do on a regular basis for whatever <laughs> reason, uh, it's not going to do any damage. And you got that space to see how much exactly you have left there. As you can see on the bottom there, you got that lighter amount 
before it kind of gets darker towards the top, which is really cool. Now, really quick, just uh, on the CBD products, the one thing that I did notice on here is you do have the different uh, top for that. And this is going to be a dropper top. When I first saw this, at first I was kind of like, Eh, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I kind of like everything being all uniform and in order. But when you really think about it, I think if you're going to have two totally different kind of products, because CBD does have a significant difference for the most part, um, I think maybe your bottle oil should be a little bit different to kind of separate. So I've actually warmed up to having the two different tops as well. Um, and then this is just what the jar looks like there and pretty much the same as the last. So not much of a difference between there, except you got the black uh, plastic lid to go with that. Again, um, as far as the uniform goes, if you look at these together, they still look really cool together. And I'm actually completely fine with the slight differences there. Uh, do you agree with that? Do you have a difference in opinion when it comes to- Yeah, I personally, I personally like them slightly different like that with the different lines are just such a different blend of oils. I think it's kind of cool just to separate them a little bit. Yep. And then uh, just really quick, these are what the shower products look like. You got a beard wash or I'm sorry, a beard conditioner and a co-wash and then your beard wash here. These are identical. Uh, so these match really well. Um, the only thing that I wish was I wish there was a little bit difference in the labels, just so when you have them both in the shower at the same time, you know exactly what you're what you're grabbing. Sometimes I'm a little bit uh, clumsy in the shower and I'll grab the wrong bottle and sometimes a different label would would help with that. Very small critique, uh, not a big deal. I think they look pretty sharp and uh, they're very sturdy for the shower as well too. So. All right, so that is the pricing presentation. Let's talk about how these scents uh, smelled in our beards, and then we'll dive right into how they felt. All right, so talking about these scents, we have three different scents that we're going to go over with you. Um, so Kyle and I got uh, two... Uh, we actually got different scents. Uh, so he, I'm going to talk about the one that I got. He's going to talk about his. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to do a beard product swap this time around. Uh, so unfortunately, we won't be able to both give our opinions on it. Uh, but still, um, you know, we'll be able to touch on how these products felt, which of course is usually the most important part. But I'm going to go ahead and get us started with the first scent. And that is called the, I hope we got the wrong one. That is called the Motown. Okay. And scent profile on that uh, consists of a vibrant bergamot with fresh basil leaf, complemented by earthy notes of oak moss, white patchouli, blended together with a nice splash of uh, bourbon. So this was a very unique scent. And honestly, at first, when I first smelled this one, I wasn't, I was just kind of okay on it, uh, you know, going from the bottle. Um, I really get that uh, that bourbon um, pretty pretty heavy at first, and I know it says that it's a nice splash of it, which to me, when I'm reading that, uh, you know, usually means it's just like a little touch of the bourbon. But that bourbon really does come out, you know, really strong out of the bottle for me. So when I was going to put it in my beard, I was a little worried that that was going to be something that kind of lingered throughout the day. Fortunately, Mike, who's a master of his craft, uh, really blended this product very well. I really appreciated the fact that I was able to get that earthiness that came from like the oak moss as well as like that patchouli. But what was really unique about it was the basil leaf. I really felt that that basil leaf added such a unique aspect to it. And it just made that bourbon really smell just completely interesting. And you got yourself like a nice dare I say cologne type scents um, with that bourbon splash to it. That was actually pretty cool. So if you really like that kind of just straight um, manliness type cologne, not something that I would say your grandfather would wear, but definitely a man's man type cologne. I don't think you would see like a, like a businessman type wearing it, but just just a typical blue collar man's man that would really appreciate a good cologne. That's what I got out of that one. So that sounds good. Very cool. And then the butter for that, um, I felt matched very, very well with the oil. 
Um, and it's a scent that, that lasts a good seven, eight hours in my beard. So you're going to get pretty much a full work day out of it, um, which is always appreciated for me. Very good. All right. So the one that I have is the Remix. And as you can see there, come on. Nope, doesn't want to focus. So what it says is the sweet citrus cologne. So the scent profile on this is sweet orange, lemon, lime, blended with petite or petit grain, uh, cardamom, rosemary, jasmine, amber, white musk, fir, oak moss, and rosewood. So this is a typical cologne, a lot of loud ingredients, but you don't really pick up any individual ingredient in there, just like a cologne should be. I absolutely love this scent. If you like citrus, I think you'll love it. Also, if you like cologne, I think you'll love it. He mixed those two fragrances of just kind of like manly cologne and citrus perfectly. It's not too switch citrusy. Like I would consider it like almost like you're picking up um, like the sweetness in a way. It's just a perfect blend. Um, I really like it. I, um, you know, a lot of citrus scents, you don't get a ton of scent duration. This one I'm getting about six hours, which is really good. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, I've tried a few different ones from this company. Um, this one, especially before they um, did their rebrand, this one's definitely my favorite. Nice. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, and I'm, I'm almost positive on this, is yeah. that that remix is uh, what used to be called the Shatterfly, which is very popular on his right. old brand. So if you really like that scent and you want just a little extra in it, that might be um, a good a good scent for you to pick up for mm -hmm. sure. I definitely want to try that in, in the future, no doubt. Um, and then the last scent that I'm going to talk about is off the CBD line. Um, you know, unfortunately, Kyle uh, didn't have the opportunity to uh, pick up the CBD line yet, but I'll go ahead and touch on it. Now, this scent, which is called The Message, is absolutely amazing. It is identified as a uh, as an, another cologne. So as you can see, Mike is very big on these cologne type scents, which I honestly don't have a, pro uh, don't have a problem with. Um, so you're looking at a, a blend of bergamot, mandarin, fresh mint, clary sage, musk, uh, wood, and tonka bean. I absolutely love this scent. Um, this was one of those scents that um, I just, I like so much because you can easily wear it at night, but you could also wear it during the day because it has that muskiness and that wood to it. Um, but when wearing it at night, that muskiness and wood didn't bother me whatsoever. Kind of added a nice warmth to it, which actually made me fall asleep that much better while wearing it, which is something I always love when I put on a night butter. You just get a good balance of fresh right up front. And then as you as it starts to settle down in your nose, you get that warmth, that muskiness. And I just think Mike did an absolute amazing job with the scent. Um, I absolutely love it. It's probably a scent that I could see myself talking about later on in the year 2021 for sure. So that is the sense. Let's dive into how these products fill and we'll wrap this bad boy up. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about how these products felt in our beard and if we would recommend them. So let's go ahead and start with the uh, beard oil, the non-CBD one. So to redo the ingredients, we have hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond, metafoam seed oil, argan oil, fragrance, and essential oils. So during the rebrand, there are some added, or I should say new products here. Um, first of all, hemp seed, jojoba, really all these, but especially metafoam are some of my favorite oils in my beard. Um, I absolutely love this beard oil. Um, it is on the lighter side. I would definitely say it's, it's about a notch lighter than medium. Um, it soaks into my beard really nice. It feels great. I would really, I could really wear it anytime. Don't get me wrong, but especially in the summer when it's really hot outside and it's kind of, you know, can be uncomfortable, a little sweaty beard. It's, this would feel really good because it is such a lighter oil. It runs really easy, just yeah, like Joe was showing it's you. It's racing down my hand and my arm right there. As right. you can see that drop going there. Yeah. Joe, how'd you like the oil? Yeah, the oil was, uh, the oil, 
was outstanding. And uh, I really loved Mike's oil before. Um, And I'm going to just be completely frank. You know, when I, when I heard that this rebrand was happening, I was kind of like, oh no, why, what are you doing? Because I was kind of in that tendency of, you know, it seemed like you were doing so well, you know, why are you fixing what doesn't seem to be broken? But you know, after talking with Mike and getting a little bit more detail as to, you know, why this rebrand, you know, needed to happen. And then just testing out these newer oils. I definitely think he, he really, you know, upgraded and he really took his company um, and his business to a whole new level for sure. Um, And it starts off with that feel in um, of this oil. I did like how light it was. Um, and it just really soaked into my beard really well. It penetrated into the skin magnificently, if I'm saying, (laughs) if I'm saying that right, but, um, it just felt really good. My beard and my skin really enjoyed the oil on that for sure. Yep. All right. So moving on to the butter, we have, uh, shea butter, hemp seed butter, hemp seed oil, uh, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, metafoam seed oil, argan oil, non-GMO soy fragrance, and essential oils. So one thing you're going to notice about this butter, it's definitely not firm to get it out, but it might be on the firmer side to compare to how creamy it is. Once you melt this down in your hands, it is super creamy. That's what that looks like there. Just a beautiful white color. Um, like I said, it's very creamy. The biggest benefit of this butter by far is it gets my beard very, very soft. So on maybe one of those, <laughs> got a big chunk out there. Yeah. One of those days where I'm just struggling with the curls under my beard, the waves, which I do all the time, this butter really helps. I have actually have it in right now and it just makes my beard sit down so nice with how soft it is, but it also helps with that styling agent, keeping those flyaways at bay. Yeah, I so I found the butter to be uh, more dense than what it pre, uh, previously was. I really liked how, you know, just creamy and soft, uh, you know, that the butter used to be. Um, not, And I do like how the butter is now because when you do melt it down, it melts down and it does become, you know, really soft and um, it melts down, you know, quite easily and, and you're able to work it in your beard with no problems. I actually, ha- I have no problems with how the beard butter is. I just found it to be a little bit more firmer, not really balmish or anything like that, but definitely definitely uh, more dense than what I'm used to it being. So there is, I think there is uh, a, a kind of a significant difference between what the butter used to be then to what the butter is now for sure. All right. So then uh, diving into the CBD products, and I definitely think, uh, you know, these are the star of the show right here. Um, My experience with these CBD products were absolutely great. Um, You know, when you talk about CBD, you always wonder, you know, is, am I going to get that instant reaction that everybody talks about right away? Or is it going to take me wearing these items, you know, a certain amount of days in a row for me to finally start understanding you know, what people are talking about. Because when you, you know, when you're within the bearded community, most people are going to rave about how CBD feels in your beard. There are going to be a handful of people say they don't really know the difference and they're not going to pay, you know, the extra money for it. And hey, I, I, I understand completely. But when I put these uh, CBD products in, these are one of the products that I really noticed my beard being extra soft early during my time of wearing this. Basically meaning that it didn't, I did not have to wear this product like four or five times in a row for me to start noticing a difference between the CBD line and the original line, which for me is very important because if I am going to pay extra to get CBD compared to the original line, I do want to see that uh, reaction. And I really felt that my beard felt um even better than when I had the original line in, which is so important. So the ingredients on the oils is going to be hemp uh, hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, metafoam, argan, fragrance, uh, fragrance, essential, and then your broad spectrum CBD for there. And if I'm not mistaken, on the website, it says that it's going to be 500 uh, milligrams of that broad spectrum which is what the site says as I'm checking there. And then on the butter, uh, you're looking at the, at, at the exact same thing. So shea butter, hemp seed, 
butter, hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, metafoam seed oil, argan oil, uh, non-GMO soy, fragrance, and essential oil with that broad spectrum CBD. So, and then, yeah, the butter itself felt, uh, you know, completely amazing as well. I really enjoyed how the butter made my beard feel you know, really soft at night. And then when I woke up during the day, my beard was feeling just as soft. Um, and it really, you know, handled the night very well. Uh, coming out of the shower, my beard still even felt really good. And I think the way that that butter was made had a big reason to do with that. So, all right. Uh, Kyle, do you want to kick us off with, uh, with your take on the wash and conditioner? Yes. So I actually forgot mine. They're, they're in the shower right now. Okay. I just used them a couple hours ago. So if you don't mind showing it off. So starting yeah. with the beard wash, um, I really like the beard wash mainly because as you can see there, it's a daily beard wash. Well, so that's a daily co-wash, but the beard wash is a daily beard wash. It's not too stripping, um, but it strips enough. If you're looking at that middle line of not stripping and stripping, I would say it's a hair above the stripping. But again, I feel like I could use this every day, which I have um, for, for over a week now. Um, use it every day. I really like it. It's one of those beard washes that um, suds up pretty well which, which I really like for some reason, I just feel it working when, when you're, when your beard wash uh, does that in the shower for you. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to just talk about, you know, both of them at, at the same time, because my experience was a little bit different uh, from, you know, from your experience, but my experience with both these products were the same towards each other. Um, so I, I wasn't as big of a fan with the shower products as I was with some of the other products that we talked to, you know, Kyle mentioned that he was able to get that feeling of the wash really lathering up for him to an extent. For some reason, I just, I wasn't getting that. You know, I felt like when I was putting the wash and even the co-wash in there, that it was kind of just disappearing in my beard um, more than I would have liked it to. So, you know, it was one of those feelings where it's like, you know, I'm putting that normal recommendation of about a dime to maybe nickel size amount in my beard but it was just disappearing. And I really didn't feel comfortable putting, you know, more, you know, in my beard because I just don't want to overdo and potentially ruin my beard um, by putting too much wash or conditioner in it. So my overall experience was just, it was just okay with it. You know, I, I felt like, you know, it, it kind of did the job to an extent, but I really wish it just stayed in my beard longer. And I really wish I got that you know, sudsy effect that, you know, Kyle got with the wash. Um, I primarily noticed the disappearance mostly with the co-wash itself. So really the co-wash, I didn't get much of anything out of it, um, which, which really stinks because, you know, it, I was hoping that those would line up with how the other products did, but hey, you know, not every product can be a winner and it's completely okay. So obviously right. Kyle had a great experience with them. So that's, you know, so, you know, by all means, you know, give it a try for sure. These just weren't for me and that's completely okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised to hear that, but all beards are totally different. Now yep. I did have that experience of it feeling like it wasn't in your beard a lot with the co-wash. Okay. Um, I put the normal amount in now. Here's the thing. It didn't, the co-wash, not the wash, the co-wash didn't suds up or anything like that, but I which is should it because it's a conditioner. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But some you can, you can almost see and feel that not sudsy, but almost like the, that custardy, like in your beard, mm -hmm. the co-wash for me did disappear, but the results were awesome. It made my beard nice and soft. Everything it got helped me get my tangles out and everything like that. So yeah, definitely different um, experiences with the wash and go wash. Yep. All right. But I will say, um, you know, despite that overall, I am very satisfied. I'm very pleased with the rebranding that Mike has done for himself. I really think Bandbox is going to take off uh, later on in 2021, and I'm really excited to see what he has in store. I know that there's a couple other scents that he's working on um, that aren't on the site yet, as well as um, there is some scents on there that we just are available and didn't have the chance to try and get to that I'm looking forward to doing in the future. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think overall, I'm, I'm, 
you know, I, I really enjoy this, bra- uh, you know, this company. And, you know, I think it says a lot being the fact that we have recently agreed to become affiliates with Mike. Uh, we've known Mike for a while, so it's going to be an absolute pleasure to work with him and work more closely on this uh, rebrand with him. And uh, yeah, Beer Talk 15, as Kyle mentioned uh, before, will save you an additional 15% on these products. Yeah. How are you feeling about the new affiliation, man? Oh, I love it. I, I love these products across the board. Um, highly recommend them, especially if you're someone who likes your oil, just a touch on the lighter, or really I should say products in general, a touch on the lighter side, not like completely light. You don't know it's there, but just a little lighter. I think you're really going to like them. Um, so yeah, we'll throw the link to Bandbox below. We'll throw the um, uh, affiliate code below so you can go ahead and take advantage of them. And uh, like I said, I, I definitely highly recommend them. So guys, for this video, that's all the time that we have for you today. But as always, keep it growing. And we'll talk to you at the next one. Cousins out.